Art and business. Some people might think those two things don't go together, but at the Soap Gallery in downtown Youngstown, well, they most certainly go together, and it's because of the creative minds behind it. Take a look at this. The Soap Gallery has become one of Youngstown's fastest growing art galleries. What started as a school project quickly turned into a successful, well-known business. Every time we would go out, he would say, it'd be great to own an art gallery. And I would say, it would be great to own an art gallery. And slowly but surely, we said, we need to open up an art gallery. Well, I was uh, starting business school in the fall of 2015 and uh, needed a business capstone project. And what better to do a project on than uh, an art gallery um, and starting your own business. Mixing art into business was about to become a reality for Steve and Dan. It was a learning process that even the most creative minds can appreciate. They quickly figured out that it was going to take more than just an attractive space and beautiful artwork to make the gallery thrive. We, we didn't really do any press. We didn't uh, buy any billboards. We did later on. Um, it was, we, we just decided to do it and our first opening was October 2015. Um, we had probably about 300 people for our first opening. Um, we didn't know how to sell the art yet at that point, but we knew how to put up an art show. Uh, nothing sold that day, uh, and then the next day we had a class scheduled. That was going to be our next thing, and one person showed up to the class. And so we're like, okay, we've got to do some work here. But like many places in Youngstown, Soap realized they had to adapt to make sure they could get the support they needed. As it turns out, creativity still goes a very long way when it comes to building a business. It's slowly but surely, Youngstown's becoming uh, more creative, both musically, visually, performance-wise, and it's keeping those assets here, but also getting people to support them. We got a lot of people that saw the word bar hop and said, I'm gonna go do that, and then didn't realize that, that there's an art aspect to it, and, and really enjoyed themselves, and ended up buying another camera, and, and filling up another role, and seeing the results, and like in the film and stuff, and so, um, any ways that we can get people engaged in an artistic way is good for us, and it's good for the art community. And as the gallery grows, so do the artists' interests in this place. There's just something about getting feedback from the community that makes this creative process come full circle. It's a place where artists flock to uh, because they will produce, make what they need to make, and then get it out of here. And so, but when they are in that experimental phase, that I think that where there could possibly be failure in, a, in an experiment, that's what we get are those pieces that the artists want to see. Is this going to fail? Is this going to be a succeed? What does this person think of this piece? What do they think of that? Uh, and that's the ambitious but real sense of it is we are a test pad for a lot of bigger things. And just as in any business, it's about the work ethic that goes into fighting the fight every day. And in Youngstown, the passion behind hard work is something that has transcended through generations. Youngstown has the greatest story out of any city in the United States. It's a diverse story, it's a winded story, but it's uniquely its own. It's Youngstown, Ohio. So I think we have more passion, more creativity than I, I would wager anywhere in the country. For more information on the Soap Gallery and their upcoming shows, just find them on Facebook. Soap Gallery is spelled like the normal soap, right? There you go.